Good evening, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, evening headlines on August 14, 2023. Trump mocked for sarcastic response to 2020 election interference question. Royal Navy frigate returns to Plymouth after time at sea. Decay and discovery, the allure of abandoned sites in Malaysia. The Guardian, forgotten history of Australian towns showcased by explorers who share discoveries on social media. Pilot and crew member, not seriously hurt, after Michigan airshow crash. The Guardian, watch, pilot ejects from Soviet-era fighter jet before crash at Michigan airshow. The Telegraph, watch, two people eject from fighter jet before crash at Michigan airshow. NBC News, terrifying video shows fighter jet crashing into parking lot during an airshow in US. NDTV, Soviet-era fighter jet crashes at Michigan airshow as crew members eject. Sky News Breakfast with Jane Secker, Mick Fleetwood's restaurant destroyed in Hawaii wildfires. Three women injured in otter attack in Montana. Sky News, woman attacked by, vicious, otter. I did not think I was going to make it out of that river. CNN, woman attacked by vicious otter. I did not think I was going to make it out of that river. Looters armed with bear spray steal $100,000 worth of luxury goods from Los Angeles shopping center. Sky News, Nordstrom robbery, mob steals up to $100,000 in Los Angeles, California. USA Today, video, criminals ransacked to Panga Mall Nordstrom stealing up to $100,000 worth of merch. CNN, bear spray used on security guards in Sir Cal Mall heist involving up to 50 people. North Korea, Kim Jong-un wants power to surely annihilate enemies as he orders sharp increase in missile production. Sky News, N Korea's Kim orders, drastic boost, in production of missiles, shells. Al Jazeera English, Kim Jong-un demands weapons factories boost production. The Times, Kim Jong-un demands drastic boost in missiles and key weapons. The Telegraph, Kim Jong-un orders drastic increase in production of missiles. Niger coup, ousted President Bazoum to be charged with high treason, Junta says. BBC, Niger military junta says it will prosecute ousted president for high treason. Guardian News, Niger coup leaders say that the door is open to diplomacy. Euronews, editorial, Niger needs deeper mediation diplomacy, not military intervention. Premium Times, Niger, army delegation thanks Guinean government for support after coup. Victims of plum horror home explosion identified as shocking video emerges. The Independent, five are dead, including a child, as their remains are pulled from the debris of a Pennsylvania home explosion. Daily Mail, ring doorbell camera captures moment huge house explosion kills five people. Daily Star, rustic ridge explosion sends different kind of shock wave through Plum's Holiday Park section. Trib Live, video shows huge blaze after deadly US house explosion. Georgia prosecutors could charge Trump with racketeering, experts say. BBC, Donald Trump News Live, prosecutor seeks Trump's indictment in 2020 election interference case. CNN News 18, Donald Trump News Today, potential indictment looms in Georgia as Trump praises Laura Loomer. The Independent, Donald Trump faces potential fourth indictment in Fulton County in Atlanta, Georgia. Floods and landslides kill at least 49 people in northern India. The Guardian, Himachal Pradesh, more than 20 dead as heavy rains hit Indian state. BBC, landslides triggered by cloudburst in Himalayan state kills at least 29, dozens missing. The Independent, more than 30 dead amid floods and landslides in India's Himalayan region. Evening Standard, India monsoon, at least 33 dead as heavy rain triggers floods and landslides in Himalayas. Maui fires S, death toll rises to 96 as search for missing continues in Lahaina. The Independent, when a fire hurricane hit, Maui's warning sirens never sounded. BBC, Hawaii wildfires, Mick Fleetwood's restaurant destroyed as he says situation on the ground is catastrophic. Sky News, I live on Maui and this is what we've lost to the wildfires. The Independent, opinion, the Maui fire spared Lahaina's banyan tree. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.